Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesign.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the little blue button right there. I've got a thrift haul. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Hey, so Victoria had her back to school haul and um, we spent a bunch of time in the car and went something like this. Hi everyone, it's Stacy from Peony Lane Designs. Guess what day it is? What? Back to school shopping oh, back day. back to school <laughs> What? The top of the house. It's a, like a bee's nest or something. Ugh, awesome. We aren't even to Forest Lake, which is two towns away because we got on the freeway. Someone tripped on their dick. We made it! Well, I got some stuff. <laughs> Did you get some stuff? I got a lot of stuff. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm gonna have to edit this video. <laughs> a lot. Oops. Jeez. Sorry about that. Forgot, kind of forgot it was on. Okay, I took her to lunch and now she's getting weird. I'm happy now though. That was me, that's on me. So from here on out, it's just Victoria's clothing. <laughs> I took her to my favorite hidden treasures. Camera rolling. Oh, sorry. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I was driving. Victoria's buying me Starbucks? What? <laughs> and I got some stuff, y'all. I know you can see it behind me. That's the Coca-Cola lamp that I picked up for 25 bucks. Go ahead, Junk Bonanza. It needs to be cleaned. Like, really, really bad. Drink Coca-Cola. Drink. Then it says Coca-Cola. From the 1970s or so, I would guess. The mate. 1970s. But I got a bunch of other stuff, too. So it's my turn to do a thrift haul. Let's start with the fact that I got some clothes, too. Back to work clothes. So I was running out of ideas for work clothes. This was 99 cents. It's orange, but you know, we're going into fall and I, I had found this orange sweater that kind of goes with it. How much was this? I didn't even look. Did I look? Yep, oh, there it is. 9.99. And it's super soft. I have to wear sweaters. That office is freezing. Every office is freezing. Every office is freezing. So, anywho. Oh, please tell me that didn't break. Oh, my God. No, 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 This, y'all, this is Royal Dalton. Okay, there was another girl in the aisle when I found this. And she was, like, literally looking up every single piece of china in there. So, rookie mistake. Because I walked right past her and grabbed this off the shelf. You can tell, like, after a while, you'll be able to go, that's worth my effort. That's worth me testing out and see. I mean, this was $6.99 for Royal Dalton. I've never seen Royal Dalton like this. I know nothing about it. But what I was thinking was, if I've never seen this, <laughs> I'm buying it. So it's got a 1970s feel to it to me. I don't know anything about it. I need to look it up. Let's do that right now. I did not find an exact match, but the back stamp dates to the 1920s. Glad I got it. I have a feeling it is going to be worth something. It's not cracked. It's It's got some crazing on it. It's not chipped, but I don't know what the pattern is. I could not find the pattern. And I don't want to spend the next 12 hours down the rabbit hole of Royal Dalton patterns from the 1920s. So, uh, yeah, it'll take a while. I did, I put in Ivy and all the stuff. I couldn't locate it quickly, but we're going to keep going. 
We're going to keep going. God, seriously, guys. Goodwill, do better. Uh, they're not wrapping stuff anymore. These aren't particularly old that I could tell. Donnie Gal, salt and pepper shakers. I just think they're kind of nice to have around, you know, the Irish holidays. Okay. This is going to junk bonanza. Mexican clown. And the only reason, don't get offended. He's from Mexico. So I called him a Mexican clown. Um, he was actually handmade. It's like a paper clown. But look at the creepy face. So yeah, it's going with my creepy clowns. He was only a dollar ninety nine. That was a hidden treasure. Isn't he great? He's so great. Anyway. Uh, I feel really bad because this was not broken uh, when I put it in my car. It was clearly dried out leather. It was way dried out, um, but it was not actually cracked and off like this when I got it, but it is rose mulling. It's clearly just a decorative piece. So hopefully whoever buys it will be like, oh, well, I wasn't planning on using the bellows anyway. Uh, $2 and 29 cents at the first place we went to it. This is from Ark. This is why I bought it. This is a super popular art form here in Minnesota. Um, rose mulling. Pretty. Scandinavian. Um, let's see. I'm jumping all over from store to store here. So at the first store we went to, Arc Value Village, $1.99. Tupperware large colander. And then at the Goodwill, $2.99, the small one. They're both going to Junk Bonanza, but I was like, what? In the ever-loving... $1.99, $2.99. I'm going to have to go to Arc more. But look at the color difference. Doesn't matter. They're going in the Tupperware for Junk Bonanza. So the Tupperware, I now have like an orange one, a few yellow ones, more yellow ones. I think there might be a brown one in there. These are very popular. People like these colanders. Also at the first thrift store, Arc Value Village, $1.99. It's a loon. That's the Minnesota state bird and like 90% of the occupants here. Uh, that was a personal opinion alert. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's a doorstop. He has a little buddy. Hang on. Got a little baby loon to go with him. Baby loon was 99 cents, so. Cute. Door stops. The loon is often said to be the voice of the wilderness. Whatever. And they put it a loon on there just in case you didn't know. But it looks like it's got some uh, damage to the fabric here. So we'll have to get that stabilized and cleaned up. But there's those. Got a little loon here. Stick your head out there, little baby loon. Baby loon. That was a really pathetic loon call. Uh, believe it or not, there's like a whole pile behind this shelf of stuff. So we're going to go with the box at my feet, I think, first. Wait, 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 wait. This is Ark. No, this was Goodwill. Nope, we'll wait on that. We'll wait on Goodwill because Goodwills were the last places we went. So I wanted to make sure that she got the best opportunity to find good stuff right away. So let me pause you while I go back and grab the stuff from behind the shelf. Okay, so Hidden Treasure was like third to the last, but whatever. Also going to Junk Bonanza. I have a whole little collection of cameras that is coming with. This one was $6.99 for the Polaroid Electric Zip Land camera. So... Hopefully cameras are doing well. These were 49 cents each also. 45s. I got a bunch of different ones. So I found some Christmas ones that I'll save for Christmas. But then just for the graphics and then uh, for the kitsch factor. So this is a 1960s Northwestern Western National Insurance Company who issued this record. It's got a big scratch on it on that side, but not that side. Um, 
So it's like an advertising wear and a record, but then there's a bunch of like music box dancer. Who doesn't love? Dun, 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 dun. I know the music box dancer. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Used to be one of my favorites. It's a bunch of little 45s. And then I got a Darth Vader planter. He's a planter. He's not a cup. He's a planter. Did you just see him with the little... Jenny, if you want it, let me know. <laughs> He's freaking adorable. Look, it's just a Darth Vader planter. He was two ninety nine. dollars I think he's cute. The shelf is coming in handy right now. I didn't even check this. Damn it, I was going to check this. This was also a hidden treasure for $1.99. It's a West Clock. It's got a good color on it. Let me plug it in one second. Well, it works. So it was $1.99 for the West Clock. See, well, it got so confusing. I was going to ask him to plug it in. But my daughter was like doing her checkout. And it, she has a check card now. So she has her own checking account. And um, she's trying to figure out how to use it and stuff. And I'm like trying to help her at the same time. And then I got like lost track of that. Margo! No excuse. My fault. I should have plugged it in before I left. This was at this was at the first Arc Value Village too. Salt and pepper. Dollar ninety nine each. Oh, I was like they were still in the box. Dude was loading the shelves and I grabbed these. And I said, Is it okay if I take these? And he goes, The more you take out of the boxes, the less I got a shelf. And I said, Okay. So I dug through there was a couple other things I took out of there. I'm like, if it doesn't bother you, I will dig. And he's like, it doesn't bother me. So I was digging. I was digging. They are dirty as all get out. And once we're done with this thrift haul, I'm going to have to like sanitize my hands. But they were like too good to leave behind, right? <sighs> I'm like, fine. The dude didn't care. Oh, uh, this was at Hidden Treasures. And I got to tell you, I had seen one of these on Amazon. And I think it's though pretty. Look at the little polka dots on it. Little flower in there. A little cute teacup. I kind of want to keep it. I drink tea in the winter, so I might use this this winter for my teacup. And then when I get bored with it, sell it. But it's just too precious. I don't even know what brand is it. Brew to a tea. Brewed to a tea. I just thought... The polka dots and the turquoise color, and it's uh, I'm gonna wash it up and I'm gonna use it. I am definitely going to use it. I'm gonna put you down here because you're not breakable. Well, you're crushable, but you're not breakable. Not like my delicate, lovely teacup. I'm gonna drink my tea in a pretty cup. My husband is thrilled because I have quite a few pretty cups, but I do go through them. Like, I I had one set that I was like, okay, now I'm done with you. And then I moved it on and okay, more milk glass. So this was the one I think I have, but I have quite a few quilted ones that are in multiple different styles. Like they had the quilted pattern and a bunch of different vase shapes so I'm not sure if it's the same shape that's what I couldn't remember is if I had the bulb one or this one so I bought it because it was a dollar 99 and I was like uh you know what it's a dollar 99 this one's a dollar 99 as well and I couldn't remember if I have this one it seems familiar but then my brain went you have the short one like I think I have the short one of this one so they make them you all know you know You've seen these vases a million times. So they'd be like this high for this vase as well. And I think that's the one that I have in this pattern. I'm going to have to start keeping a better record of, of my milk glass vases. But I really like this one too. There's one more. There's another one in here. Maybe I'm a day four. And I knew I didn't have this one. This one I couldn't swoop up on fast enough. So I have one similar to this, but it's a rectangle bottom on it. Got the swirly swirls all over it. You can see it kind of goes like this. So I have one that has a round top with a rectangle bottom that has the swirls like this. Sort of has an art deco feel. 
I don't have this one. And it was only $1.99 as well. So they were all $1.99 and these are getting added to my collection. <sighs> Just this one. I gotta look. Because I think I might have had the, the bulb bottom one. And that's a Randall milk glass. Yo! Ha 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 ha! He's cute. Um, I have chalkware. I don't know particularly how vintage this chalkware is, but the owl is just super cute. I don't know. He could be vintage. He could have been a reproduction. I don't know, but he's a winking owl. He's winking. I went, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was saying about the woman that was looking stuff up in the aisle as she was shopping. Huge Ricky mistake because at that point, I know you're a dealer. And at that point, I'm now competing with you. <laughs> like, I am now working super fast to make sure that you don't grab what I'm looking for. Like, the things that I want to get. So, you know, just basically putting a neon sign out saying, I'm a dealer. It's like, hmm, rookie mistake. So, I, like, swooped past her. Like, she was looking up these salt and pepper shakers, and I was like, boom. <laughs> I see what you're doing. I'm looking past her, around her, and then I'm like, ooh, grab the salt and pepper shakers, grab the teapot. I was like, boom, 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 boom. And in my cart, I had it all in my cart. And I'm like, now I will decide once it's in my cart. And if I feel the need to look something up, that's the point. Right then, after I get it in my cart. But if you're standing there debating, that gives me the opportunity to go around and and clean out all the stuff around you that I feel like I want to take home. And then I did go back and make some choices on some of the stuff that I had put in the cart. But at that point, she'd already left the aisle. So she's out of luck because I'm like, no, I'm not giving you that opportunity. I need to jump bananas, all right? So don't do it. Don't look it up right there. Like, finish shopping, stop and look stuff up. If you're deciding as you're, before you put it in the cart, um, let me look it up. You're wasting time. You're wasting time. Don't do it. And sometimes if it's busy, you just have to take a chance. Like you may not have a place to stop and rest and check things. You may have to just take a chance, take a shot. And if the prices are good enough, you're going to. After all these years, sometimes you just got to buy. And sometimes I don't make money. I can sometimes make my money back. But I don't always make a huge profit on stuff because I either didn't see that it was a reproduction. So there's so many pieces of glass now that are reproductions. Like I got a creamer once. And if the lip goes out, it's not a reproduction. And mine didn't go out. So it was a reproduction. I was like, oh, but it happens. Oh, God. Hang on. I'm going to give this to Victoria for her room. It's the little gold geometric shelf. I'm going to get that out of here now and have her take it to her room. Y'all, there's still stuff in the car. There's like two pieces in the car. One was a piece of furniture I didn't want to bring in until this piece back here is done. This Coca-Cola lamp. This is so good. Anyway. I got more clothes at this one. Prison stripes. This is the softest sweater. I swear to God. I have all my clothes. It's all about softness. And it was $7.99. It's a giant, like, sweater. It feels so cozy. I was like, I had to check with Victoria. It's a, like a turtleneck one. And I said to her, yes or no, because it's like horizontal stripes and normally I wouldn't do it, but winter is a coming and I want to be warm. And she's like, it's really cute. So I got it. And then there was this, which was $5.99. It's just a Dia & Co shirt to go over leggings. It's just a tunic -y shirt. I like comfort. I don't go for high fashion, y'all. I bought this for Victoria. Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda, $5.99. See, Baby Yoda. Thank you. 
you. She's all excited. She's already wearing all of her new school clothes, including the shoes, because she got to break them in. I have to. Right. All right. Bye. This was also Arc Value Village. This top was $5.99. Red tags were 50% off, and this was red tagged. It is L.L. Bean. Uh, it's just a red turtleneck. It's droopy. Red tag on a red shirt. I only work three days a week. I now have four shirts. I'm good. <laughs> Plus my black t-shirts. But I didn't want to wear a black t-shirt every day. I mean, I have six black t-shirts that I bought. That I wear literally every day. I wear a black t-shirt and then I wear a different um, sweater over it. And then I thought I better mix it up a little. But for those prices, I could. Oh, yeah, this one, too, was red tag, $3.99. So this was 50% off. And this would be now. I could wear this now. Um, it's just a black T-shirt with a white undershirt look to it. So I could wear that now. Oh, wait, there's another one. And this is not for work. This is just because I really think it's cute and it matches my hat. <laughs> $3.99. All the t-shirts were $3.99. Huh? Huh? I feel like I love it. <laughs> oh, okay. Got a couple other planters. This one says Pure Luck. And this one says Garden Goals. Uh, it's not garden season right now, so these will get put away until it's time to do a booth for gardeny stuff and I just like the colors on these. I think they're super cute colors. They stack. They'll be nice to pack up and put in the booth. And then, God bless me. You're not even going to believe it. We found an entire shelf of Chinese books. And I said to Victoria, you want any Chinese books? And she was literally reading the details on this book, going, oh, mom, I think you would like this one. <laughs> I'm like, you'd have to read it to me. I just couldn't believe it. I have never seen Chinese. I had to go get her and ask her, is this Chinese or Japanese? Because it looks like Chinese to me. And she goes, yeah, that's Chinese. I said, there's an entire shelf of them. We left a lot behind. So if you guys are in need of some Chinese books, they're out there at Dark Valley Village. And then I got this one for me, Stephen King's On Writing. Um, I read this one once a year when I'm writing. I find it very inspirational. It's one of the best books I've ever read on writing. And um, I have it in paperback. I've worn out two paperbacks. And I have the audio version. And now I have the hardcover. I have my hardcover shelf. Of, there's, that's my keeper shelf of books that I love. This qualifies as a book I love. So it's going on the keeper shelf. This is the last bag from In the House. And then everything else, oh, almost missed that one back there. Everything else is in the car. Rag rugs, so these are super popular in the booths. You can get about $12 a piece for them. Found them for nine, not nine, four. Four dollars even. Band-Aid box, first aid vacation, first aid kit. Does not have a barcode, did not have a barcode, so it's an older um, older box, $3. Inside there are some finials for some lamps that I bought that I'm thinking I want to keep in there in the car. They are super duper heavy duty and I did not want to carry it out. But here's the other thing I bought. Here, I got, I got, I got. <laughs> it is a Farberware percolator and, uh, People love the percolators, right? And I was sitting there thinking it's electric and I was going, oh, too bad it doesn't have the cord. They got smart. They put the cord in there. It's got all the guts in there and the cords in there. So it's an intact percolator. I'm going to make a pot of coffee, see if it works. If it does, it's going to go online. Probably going to be about 50 bucks. And I paid $3.99 for it. There you go. Barberware percolator. It's in good shape. It's dirty. A lot of the stuff that I bought yesterday was just dirty. Dirty. Dirty, 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 dirty. Nope, there's another bag. I lied. I'm like, wait, what? That doesn't feel like everything. That didn't feel like everything. 
a pair of brand new slippers from the Goodwill for Victoria. They were $5.99. She's moving into the basement because the OG has said that when he comes to stay, he does not want to go up and down the stairs because his knees are too bad. So she's moving down and he's in the, her new, her room now. He'll be in her room and he's coming to visit in October. Right by my birthday. It's my birthday in October. <laughs> I got this for my mother-in-law and since she watches the videos, I'm not showing it to you. I got this for me. It's a little peacock notepad. I wanted to find more desky stuff, but I didn't find desky stuff. But this is for my office. I don't have an iPhone charger there, so this is an iPhone charger, a 10-foot one. Um, I can plug it into the back of the Mac that's there and hopefully not sink to it. I gotta make sure I shut that crap down. But I needed to be able to charge my phone. The other day it kind of ran out of juice and I had to do the uh, picket bed scale tour. And then I got this for Victoria. This was $3.99. Old Times Vintage Denim Company t-shirt. I just loved the logo and she was like, I like it, but I don't want to spend all my money. And I'm like, I love it. I'm buying it for you because <laughs> it doesn't fit me and I want someone to wear it. Hmm. Well, that's some of the, some of the reason I buy so much for her is because I like it and I want her to wear it. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to just show you guys the stuff in the car because I don't want to haul it in. There's a really cute table, y'all. Arc Valley Village, the first thing. Oh, and I got a big plat map. Hang on. I got a lake map. It's huge. It's massive. Um, oh, what lake is this? Um... My husband was all over it. He was like, what? Where'd you get that? And I said, where do you think I got it, right? Thrift store. I get everything at thrift store. Department of Natural Resources, Division of Fish and Wildlife, Sugar Lake, Wright County. Um, he said, my brother-in-law might want it. So I'm going to contact him because he fishes Sugar Lake. He's a big fisherman, that one. Don't you dare knock that down, Mr. Loon. So we'll see if he's interested in new art for his house. He's a bachelor. He could do that. Um, yeah. I'm going to have to text him and ask him if he wants something like that or not. If he doesn't, I'll put it in the booth. It was $7.99. <laughs> I'll sell it to him at cost. Um, you know what? I give it to him. I just give it to him. He's given me enough stuff. If he wants it, he can have it. Let's just face it. He can have it for $7.99. It's very cool. It's a very cool piece. I just know that people like lakes and they like Minnesota lakes. And sometimes these sell, sometimes they don't. So we could, you know, I don't know. I don't know. But I got to show you everything in the car. Okay, first of all, I got two of these lamps. They were $10 each and I'm tempted to keep them. Uh, for my buffet and get rid of the ones I have on my buffet because I like these better and they're just They're so cool. Anyway, this was seven dollars for this table You can see it's still got all of its little feeties there it's Got all its little claw feet. It needs a coat of paint desperately or some refinishing of some kind But it's just gorgeous. It doesn't shake. It doesn't wobble. I was in shock that it was I mean in as good a shape as it is for seven dollars a little a little crack there but that's just the veneer cracking and we can handle that and i think that's everything that i picked up let me check yep there's nothing else in the car in the trunk so that's everything that i got i'm super excited about half this one that clown was just totally worth the whole trip but anyway thanks for watching you guys if you haven't yet gotten one of your happy junket shirts don't forget to click the links below it supports me and the channel and uh it's awesome they're just awesome and if you'd like to send me a thrift flip challenge you can do that as well uh 
If you also like to just send me anything else, that's the place to do it. And if you'd like to buy me a coffee, uh, it's like Patreon without the half, without the monthly commitment. I don't even know. I need, uh, like I was going to say I was on half a tank and then I started the other spiel because your girl's on half a tank. But if you'd also like to join our vintage reseller group, you could do that. I'll put the link in the description below. Bye. Happy checking. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and of course, more Junkin videos.